Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Tuesday Tip. We've discussed in the past the unemployment benefit payments that are included or not included in annual income. In today's tip, we have a topic that has a lot of managers scratching their heads. This week's title offers a clue. My resident has a business, but I didn't know that until dot dot dot. Well, until what? I'm talking about PPP loans from the Paycheck Protection Program. We've discovered that several residents who are living on HUD assisted properties have applied and been approved for PPP loans. Now these loans are granted to small business owners to help them keep their workers on payroll. And some of the residents who have been approved may have listed your property address as their business address. So this brings up a lot of questions for management. Did you know that your resident was running a business on property? Was this discovered or determined when you conducted the AR or IR certification? Do you or have you added this question to your application or recertification questionnaire? Has the resident given you tax returns to this effect for the AR or IR? What documentations should you request so that you can know this information up front? And the loans are public record because it's federal money, right? So have you taken the time to look at the list for your state? And if you find a resident's name on that list, what happens if they dispute the fact that their name is on the list? These are all great questions and we want to know how you would handle or how you handled this issue if it's already come up on your property. So if you've been challenged with this scenario, please email Vicki. Her email is thebell at navigatehousing.com. That's the B-E-L-L at navigatehousing.com. And what she wants to know is how you found out that your resident had been approved for this type of loan and then what steps you took after that. We'll share your answers in future Tuesday tips because a lot of people um, have questions about this. Thanks for tuning in this week and we hope to, that we will see you next week on May 25th for our Tuesday tip live. You'll have the opportunity to talk to our contract administration coordinators for Alabama, Mississippi, Connecticut, and Virginia. So bring your questions, bring your concerns. If you had an issue with a previous MOR or you have one coming up and you feel like you're not ready, um, bring your questions uh, to the table next Tuesday. That'll be live on Zoom and you can register right now using the link in the top right-hand corner of your screen. We hope to see you next week.